In 202 BC, the Second Punic War between Rome and Carthage looked to be nearing its conclusion. Go ashore! Despite the stunning successes of the Carthaginian commander, Hannibal, in Italy, the Roman general Scipio had invaded Africa and was threatening Carthage herself. Carthage recalled Hannibal and his army to fight Scipio. Hannibal and Scipio were the two best commanders of their age, neither general having lost a battle before. They would finally meet at Zama. Hannibal and Scipio finally meet on the battlefield. Scipio is able to bring experienced legionaries to the battle. Hannibal, meanwhile, is forced to rely mostly on mercenaries and fresh recruits, keeping his most elite troops in reserve. With his Numidian allies, Scipio has a cavalry advantage over Hannibal's horsemen. Yet Hannibal still has his war elephants. The Romans must find a way to deal with this threat. The outcome of the Second Punic War hinges on the result of this battle. to be facing Romans such as us. Even now, fear must weaken the bowels of our foes. Those overly proud men over there are the Carthaginians. They think they are our equals, our enemies. I think they are waiting to die. They have been whipped to the battlefield like cattle for slaughter. We are even matched in numbers, man for man. But that does not tell the whole story. Yet, for all that, we are the stronger within ourselves. We are the greater warriors. Their elephants are going to be a problem, men, but one that we must face. So, let your battle cry be, victory! Victory and glory to Rome!
battle finally turned in the Romans' favor when the Roman cavalry returned to the battlefield and attacked the Carthaginian line from behind. The Carthaginian infantry was encircled and annihilated. Thousands of Carthaginians, including Hannibal, managed to escape the slaughter. Hannibal experienced a major defeat that put an end to all resistance on the part of Carthage. Soon after Scipio's victory at Zama, the war ended with the Carthaginian Senate suing for peace. The terms Carthage acceded to were so punishing that it was never able to challenge Rome for supremacy of the Mediterranean again.